Star Wars The Last Jedi revealed Rey's parents for months before the film we had been speculating about him, but we didn't expect them just to be nobodies like they are. So the question I have to answer in this video is where does a power come from if it's not from a lineage? The whole reason there was so much speculation around who her parents would be is because in The Force Awakens she was immensely powerful, being able to use a lightsaber and do a Jedi mind trick without even knowing what those things are. And in The Last Jedi, she really didn't understand the Force until Luke kind of told her to reach out and feel it. So where exactly does she know how to do all this stuff if it's not from her lineage? I think it's because The Last Jedi has now introduced a new way that the Force works, or at least brought back the mysticism of the Force. So you now no longer need to be someone who's got lineage of powerful people to be powerful yourself. But what is the canon reason why? Basically in canon before this, it's all been about how many metachlorians you have in your bloodstream. But I think there's a new reason now as to why Rey is so powerful, and it has nothing to do with metachlorians. If you listen to some of Snoke's lines, he says for example, Darkness rises and light to meet it. And I think this is introducing a new way of the Force working. I think the Force itself, in order to try and keep itself in balance, has let a light side Force user rise. I think the best way to put it is that she is the Chosen One, just like Anakin, except she wasn't born just to be the Chosen One, and she wasn't a virgin birth. She was a completely normal person, but the Force chose her to be the one to bring balance to the Force. I think this is what the Awakening was in The Force Awakens. We know that the Force awoke in Rey, so maybe that was literally the moment when she became so powerful. It was the Force imbruing her with the power, and now she has it. If this is true and she never really had much of the Force in her before the Awakening, does this mean that she didn't even have the Force at all as a child, or was she just a normal Force sensitive, just at a normal level, when the Force chose her because of her good mind and spirit? This is the exact type of question I've been wanting to answer. All this time, the Force has been sort of ruined by the prequels in a way. A lot of people have said it, it's now more of a science. But with theories like this, it turns more into a mystical thing that we can talk about as a spiritual, mysterious Force. What do you guys think? Leave you guys belief in the comments down below, I'll be responding to as many comments as I can within the first few hours of this video being up. I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas, as I'm pretty sure this video will be releasing Christmas Day here in Australia, which means Christmas Eve in America. So enjoy your Christmas break, I hope you guys can spend some good time with your family. And that brings us to an end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, if you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button to see more Star Wars content as much as I can make it. If you enjoyed also leave a like and leave a comment down below. I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas break and I hope you have a nice day.